hello everyone and welcome to the video today's video is about the illustration of the elements of life cycle assessment interpretation in example of practice we have six elements to talk about today which are completeness consistency and data quality significance of differences sensitivity analysis restriction conclusions and recommendation and finally critical review first completeness consistency and data quality how do we do this exactly to do this element all data are analyzed again and commented on what data were you asking the data involved are databases and data quality of recorded data inventory data computations of impact assessment and methodological aspect one of the example of completeness check is this paragraph from F, which reads relevant information and data for the interpretation of the packaging systems examined in this study were present according to the estimates of the practitioners result relevant data gaps are not included for consistency and data quality, there are a few examples that illustrate the elements. In the first example, it shows how they maintain the data quality. Next examples illustrate that the data collected are consistent and have good quality. Followed by our third example, which showcases how do they maintain the consistency in data analysis. Next element is the significance of differences. Why are the elements important in the life cycle assessment interpretation? The reason is that an over-interpretation of differences between compact products must be avoided. So, examination of their significance is central to the reliability of an RCA study. So, our first example of significance of difference is this paragraph. This paragraph shows that a significant threshold is used to avoid over-interpretation of small differences. Our next example shows that the value of significant threshold use is increased by 20% for same reason. The last example signified that the large difference between different outputs. The third element of today is the sensitivity analysis. This element can be seen in both of our examples. In the first example, the table shows the comparison of 1 liter beverage carton with closure and PET single use system consuming certain technical optimization. In the table, we can see that both the input of 25% RPET for the bottle production as well as an improved PET assortment have no major influence on the comparison of the packaging systems. The specific differences between carton and PET remain, there is only a limited change on the relative positioning of the systems. Well, the second example shows the comparison between beverage carton with closure and PET single-use bottle with the application of preferences allocation rules. The table shows that for individual categories, the, rel the relative differences decrease for an application of the 100 to 0 allocation, while they increase for others. In no case, however, does the tendency or significance of the results change. Next is our fourth elements restrictions why do we need to address restrictions in principle it is assumed in the study that the results are sound and robust because of that any restrictions need to be addressed how do we do that exactly in our example we start by saying that the results are sound and robust however in case of a deviation from the boundary conditions, flowing restrictions could be considered. A list of related restrictions will then follow these statements. Let's jump to the fifth element, which is conclusions and recommendations. How should we illustrate these elements? Firstly, goal definition of the study summarized. The result following the interpretation phase must now allow redemption of these goals. Finally, all the issues that had been specified are discussed and a series of proposals for optimization were deduced from the results. 
and last but not least, critical review. Why should we do a critical review in an LCA study? This is because comparative assertions are defined to be made available to public and a critical review by interested party is necessary. How do we do this element then? Critical review is first started by appointing the reviewers by name, therefore providing a personal liability concerning the quality of the study. The reviewer then communicate with the practitioner of the study and with the advisory board. They discuss their results in view of a concluding report in the course of several meetings. As for the example study we use, in the final critical review report, which is part of the final study, the study was evaluated by the experts as of excellent quality, which is shown. Let's have a mini quiz. Number one. In completeness, consistency and data quality, all data are analyzed again and commented on. What are the data? Time's up! The answer to this question is Database is data quality of recorded data, inventory data, computations of impact assessment, and methodological aspects. Question number 2 Why do we need to examine the significance or differences? Our first second is up. The answer to the question is our interpretation of differences between compact product must be avoided. That's it for our video today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel. Bye!